Hi, welcome back to the Event House channel, your home for all things hospitality. I'm your host, Jill Goldfein. This week, we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo. While I'm not sure of all the authentic traditions, I do know that great food is involved. So to kick us off, we're back with our friend and fellow YouTuber, Josie Caldwell from Josie's Fun Kitchen, where you'll see what we cooked up. And then we interviewed the dynamic sister duo of Catered Roots. Stay tuned for the inspiring story of how Amy and Amanda Salazar took the leap from hotel careers to a successful catering business. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to the Event House channel, your home for all things hospitality. I'm Jill Goldfein, your host, and I am on location today. Who says you can't make friends during a pandemic? It is because of this YouTube channel that I have made a new friend in Josie Caldwell, who does her own YouTube channel called Josie's Fun Kitchen, which we already featured on our channel. And here she is. I'm so happy that she invited me over today hey, to cook. I'm doing great. We are celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Yes. And she has an incredible menu plan for us. Cheers. Cheers. So let's, let's get started. I am making homemade chips. We just put tostaditos. No, what did we put in? What are these? Corn um, tortillas. Yes, corn, corn tortillas. tortillas. We put corn tortillas. I cut them in quarters. We put them in a hot oil pan and they are cooking. We're gonna flip them in a moment. And when they get crispy, we're gonna put them on the pan that they look like this. And we sprinkled them with kosher salt. If you just take a plain corn tortilla, and if I bend this, if I wanted to roll up the chicken in here, it would all split. So if you heat it up, it helps. So we're gonna heat this up. We have the chicken. Our hands are clean. Are they? Yes, are they? they are clean. If this falls on you, it's going to stay. Okay. Just to let you know. So I'm going to dip, and I know that this is hot. Dip, take your plate, plate underneath. Take the chicken, a little bit of chicken in here, like this. Cheese, and then we're gonna roll it. Like this, Okay. and you want the seam side down and put it right in there. Okay. Like that, okay? All right. Got that? I got it. For the complete recipe for today's menu, in the comments below, I'm going to link to Josie's Fun Kitchen's YouTube channel. So you yes. can find the full recipe there. Ooh. Did they all just mesh together? I don't know, we're just gonna- Just take a scoop. That's what I'm scoop doing. Scoop the bad boy. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Wow. I hope you're hungry. Okay, okay here's the moment of truth. Fresh out of the oven. The truffle's hot. Mm. Oh my God. It's so light mm. and flavorful. Absolutely delicious, Josie. Having mm. the green onions and the cilantro, mm -hmm. and I put the sour cream on mine. Mm. 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 It has been so much fun <laughs> here in Josie's Fun Kitchen. Thank you for having You're us welcome. today. It's been a real treat. Thank You're welcome. You. You're welcome. See you next time. Joining me today are sisters Amy and Amanda Salazar, who have such similar paths. Both have extensive hotel backgrounds and now partners in Catered Roots with their husband and boyfriend. I can't wait to hear more about their inspiring pandemic experience. So welcome to Amy and Amanda. Uh, can we start with some of your professional background? I opened up the JW Marriott San Antonio Hill Country property. Um, mm -hmm. That's actually where I met my husband. That's where I got her a job. Um, <laughs> and that's where she met her boyfriend. So we all kind of started there. That's great. Um, since then, we grew. <laughs> we grew as the company uh, grew. And we ended up moving to Houston, my husband and I. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity of opening up the Marriott Marquis Houston. So I ran that. Um, restaurant there, the three meal a day restaurant and kind of did that um, as well as he working across the street from me at the Hilton. My sister ended up moving as a as an event coordinator. So yeah, coordinator. I started at the JW and then I decided to follow 
So both myself and Lissandra took off to mm -hmm. Houston and then um, we actually, he was in the same kitchen or the banquet kitchen and then I was an event coordinator. Um, and then in the next couple of years, I moved up to an event manager, which brings us now to Dallas. <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, in 2018, I uh, got a call and I came out to Dallas and I took the uh, position of the executive chef uh, as far as banquets go. So I'm the head banquet chef um, out here at the Sheraton Dallas downtown. Um, and my husband moved <laughs> with me as well. And he became the executive sous chef of the whole hotel over um, Hilton Park, Park Cities. Um, and then about a year later, they called me and said that they're willing to move to Dallas. <laughs> so they came out here and yeah, uh, we so just had the whole family again in Dallas. Yes, <laughs> I guess in March of 2020, um, obviously COVID <laughs> hit and things changed a bit. So we were all put on furlough at the exact same time. We became <laughs> a, what do we do next situation? Yeah. Um, and that's what brings us to what we're doing now. So in the springtime of last mm -hmm. year, it kind of gave us the opportunity to do a small, a few small events for like family and friends. Um, and we get, started getting more serious about what we wanted to do. And we've always talked about owning mm -hmm. a catering company, the two of us. Um, was, so it just kind of felt like the right time. Right? Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> It was always a dream goal, you know, she had the catering side, I have the venue aspect and talking to clients and I've always like been stubborn and pushed like, why haven't you done it yet? And then it was really perfect timing and now here we are. <laughs> so uh, it was in June, we um, got furloughed again and I was like, okay, we got to do something. So we started brainstorming um, and then you know, trying to come up with the name and the logo and everything. And so then finally in June 12th, we launched officially um, and then decided to take on weddings. Um, Cause right now they are the most COVID fearless, if you'd say, um, but also, you know, they're more intimate weddings and it was a perfect opportunity. So we started in September, 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 and we got on the knot and wedding wire. Um, and now we have about five books or five weddings booked for this year. Um, when it kicked off in August, we actually had um, a client who owned one of uh, the hotels here. And so we we're able to work out of that kitchen. And then he oh. also had his own venue. So at these places, we get to actually use their stuff versus trying to operate out of our home. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's uh, one of our first events that we did yes. um, at one of our clients, uh, Barn Dominium. He actually has a barn in his backyard and mm -hmm. we do private dinners for him. Um, so this is really fun because this was like, we tried to stick to the seasons. Um, yes. So that was a spinach and Brussels shaved salad um, with some fresh Pecorino Romano right on top and some dried fruit and nuts just to keep it fresh and and very true to the season. That's what we try to do with our menu. This is one of our little favorite appetizers. Um, it's a smoked pork smoked pork belly um, and we <laughs> glaze that in a chipotle glaze and it's over a little apple jicama slaw. Uh, tell me um, how you see this going and uh, are you still affiliated with the hotels at all? How, how do things stand now? Currently the four of us are all still working for our hotels. Yeah. Um, it's just because we've been furloughed that we're not physically at the hotel. So we're able to do all this. Yes. Um, but technically, yes, we still are employed by our yeah. employers. <laughs> okay. um, in the future, we definitely want to continue to grow. I mean, oh, like yeah. we said, this is something we really wanted to start. And we made that decision um, back in the summer. So yes, it gives us time. But then there's times where we've actually been called back. So we have to learn how to balance the two. Mm -hmm. Which years down the road, we really want to invest and actually have our own wedding venue. So where we're not just doing the food, but we're doing the whole, the whole show. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh. um, your story is very inspiring. Thanks so much for sharing it. And to my viewers, if you have a story to tell, I would love to have a meeting with you. So please contact me and we can share it with everybody in the industry. Thank you. <laughs> Event House would like to give a big shout out to Josie's Fun Kitchen and Catered Roots. Now, go have some fun for Cinco de Mayo!